But anyways, I really feel like this presentation is going to be telling, you know, consumers to be like, oh my god. Hey everybody, I'm Jammer and it's time. I'm equipped with my, my green suit because it is a special occasion, my friends. The Nintendo Switch presentation is coming this... Th okay, hold on. I have a really sore throat, if you can't tell. This is as best as I can do. I am doing my best to get recovered in time for the freaking event coming up. But I had to do this. I wasn't sure how I was going to do it, but this is the best thing I can think of. I can probably get through this video, but after that, I can't talk probably for another 24 hours. So anyways, like I said, the Nintendo Switch presentation is happening this Thursday. And I am here, as always, to give you my predictions directly to you. Oh my gosh, my voice. It has been a long while. I, I don't think we've done a Nintendo vlog in a long time. I know we did... Let's think. I know I did... <coughs> I know I did the one with um, the Zelda Breath of the Wild Game Awards stuff. But other than that, I mean, like... it's. I think the last one was like the Pokemon stuff. And frick, Pokemon's been out for like two months, three months now. That blows my mind. Wow, it's been a long time. How are you? How are you doing? How is how is this life? <laughs> As I said in one of my previous videos, I was out of town over the holidays, so it's kind of hard for me to do videos. But now that I'm back, and hopefully once I get more healthy, I can start doing these more frequently. Because I really love doing this. I just love talking straight to you guys. Nothing complex about it. I hope I don't have a cough attack during this freaking video. I can already feel one coming on. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the freaking most hyped event of 2017. Oh my gosh. It's worth within days of knowing... We're finally getting disclosed about all the information about the Nintendo Switch. And not but only a few months, we will be playing these very games they're going to be showing off. Which blows my mind. We're going to be playing this stuff so soon. I mean, yeah, it's kind of obvious that we are so dead at this point. Like, honestly, the, when I was sick yesterday, actually, I'm like, I just want to play a game. Just like rest and maybe watch a movie or whatever. And I went to go pull, pull open my drawer to look at some Wii U games to play. I'm like, I beat all these. There's nothing I really want to play. Like, I don't want to play a competitive game like Smash or Mario Kart. Can you guys hear me? I know. <coughs> I wanted something relaxing kind of to play, but then I'm like, I, I don't have anything. I'm like, it's time. Breath of the Wild. Nintendo Switch, baby. It is. I'm so amped. I'm, you, I'm so sick. Last night, swear to God, I had four hours of sleep. I was up coughing, trying to sit up. I had a fever, but I'm still here doing this because I'm so freaking excited for Nintendo Switch. God, my voice is so bad. <coughs> Anyways, so let's get into my predictions. So I think, I really think that this direct, like there has been so, okay. So first and foremost, there have been so many rumors going on about the Nintendo Switch. I really haven't covered that many just because I was out of town and everything. But there is so much surfacing, whether it be software, hardware, how the first year lineup looks, tons of stuff about like maybe region free, um, eShop stuff. There's been like straight up so. Oh my god. I have the hiccups now. Hold on. There's been an unbelievable amount of rumors, and honestly, I feel like it's helped the Switch for the better. Maybe I'll touch on that in another video where I just talk about the rumor cycle and. and as a whole, I don't know, I'll figure it out. Anyways, I honestly think a lot of these rumors that we did see throughout these last few months, I don't really expect a lot of those games to be in this presentation. Whether they're real or not, assuming if, even if they are, I really feel like this presentation is going to be solely focused on the Nintendo Switch, the console itself, what this console does, giving a direct message to the potential new consumers. Then as far as games, I really don't see them going out any farther than the first three months of the game coming. Like honestly, I don't expect them to talk at all about holiday, summer lineup, E3, no. I really feel like they're going to be, okay, especially for the fact that this presentation is only two months before release. Of course we're gonna get a release date. My prediction is probably gonna be either March 10th or March 17th. That's I think that's the Friday to follow. I can't remember exactly, I have to look at a calendar again. I think that's a good aim. I think it's gonna be the latter, March 17th, because they have that one goal, they're gonna sell X amount of million units within the first month or whatever. And I think it's gonna be more impressive in the two weeks rather than the three weeks. The other reason I would say March 10th, because Mario Day, they made a big deal about it last year. So potentially that could be still be an option too. But anyways, I really feel like this presentation is going to be telling you know, consumers to be like, oh my god, Link jumped off the wall. I I'm not putting them back up. You know, consumers to be like, 
Yo, she's just gonna hang out up there because I don't even know where the heck did Link go. So anyways, what I was trying to say is I really feel like they're gonna be focusing on the first few months so the people to encourage people to buy into this console to see what these first few months of the launch is going to be like. I don't think they're gonna leave us entirely hanging out in the dry about stuff future in the future or throughout the rest of the year. Like for example, if the Mario game actually is a holiday title, which personally, I feel like that 3D Mario is going to be holiday. Considering we know nothing about it, it's definitely going to be a big focal point and a presence at this year's E3. So I really feel like a holiday launch for this 3D Mario is a perfect time slot for it. So if we do see it, that would that would be probably one of the farthest out games we see. Maybe we'll see something like about Mario Kart coming at the end of May or something. But again, games like the Xenoblade port, um, probably even Smash Bros. I honestly don't expect to even see the Smash Bros. Switch port if that's a real thing at this presentation. Because honestly, Smash Bros. hype can carry itself. It doesn't need to be in the Switch pre- Like, there's already be so much hype around this presentation for just being the Switch itself. Like, honestly, they can have an entirely other presentation based on Smash alone, and it'll get people hyped. I mean, they've done it tons of times before, and honestly, I kind of predict that too. They may not have a specific Nintendo Switch or Smash Bros. Switch Direct, but I can definitely see within, the, like, following the launch of the Switch, within maybe the first month and a half or so, we could be seeing, an, or maybe two months, we could see another Nintendo Direct focusing even more on the software coming out throughout the year, like the Xenoblade X port, like Super Smash Brothers, Mario Maker, if that looks like it's going to be coming, stuff like that, to be honest. What I expect to see at this event, software, we'll just go software first, is Breath of the Wild, of course, that is going to be 100% a launch day title. There's been those weird rumors about questioning whether it be in Europe or whatever, but honestly, if the freaking, e uh, if the consoles are region free, you can just set your freaking, uh, so I almost called it a Wii U, you can just set your Switch to American or whatever, and if you live in France, and then hopefully maybe download it through the eShop, if it's region free, which I think it's going to be. So potentially those fans won't be left out. Yes, it'll be on like an American account, but it's still an option rather than them having to wait as long as it's gonna to take to get all the translations out. Or maybe they'll just send it out and patch in the translations, which I don't really see happening either. I don't know, it's a really sticky situation, but I've been on board saying Zelda's going to be launch title since day one. 100% it made no sense not to lead with Breath of the Wild especially because this is the first game Nintendo had confirmed for the Switch showed off in that trailer for the first time and what they showed at Fallon now as far as other games I can see the Mario Kart 8 coming pretty soon maybe not at launch but I can definitely see it coming within the first month month and a half or whatever the Mario RPG Raving Rabbids if that's a real thing and all the rumors are pointing towards it being yeah this is going to be a launch title too then so so be it I guess I mean honestly I can see it coming a little bit later but, <laughs> who knows? I'm so sorry, guys. I hope this video turns out okay. Oh, my voice. So as far as large day for technically first party, I could definitely see our Breath of the Wild, um, the Raving Rabbids RPG, potentially, may, it's not technically first party, kind of first party, pseudo first party. If a lot of rumors are pointing that to be true, I don't want to make my prediction seem like I'm just following rumors. I'm not, because I'm saying a lot of the things that they've been talking about games that are coming up. I really don't feel like we're gonna even see them at this presentation yet anyways um so yeah the Mario Ravens RPG um and then I think for a third title it's either going to, I think we're going to see both Splatoon and Mario Kart 8 or 8 plus or whatever I feel like we'll probably see both these games at the presentation but I really think only one of them is actually going to make launch the other one will probably come out within the next month and a half or so like fall after the launch don't know when exactly and I don't know which one either honestly it could go either way to be honest uh, and I almost feel like uh, there's those three, and I feel like there's one more that I bet you that no rumor maybe picked up on. Something like a Wii Sports, like, if that's what the thing, looking at that, the rumored list we've been seeing, I'm like, I don't see, you know, the Wii Sports of the Wii, you know, or the Nintendo Land, or like, you know, something more casual, kind of showing off the functionality of the Switch, potentially being some sort of split screen thing we can use the Joy-Cons, something like that. I, I can't help but feel there is something like that in the works that we'll probably see. If it doesn't happen, I mean, oh well, but I feel like maybe there could be something there, I'm not sure. Anyways, as far as third parties, I really feel like Nintendo's gonna wanna really show and s that the Switch is going to be supported unlike the Wii U was. I mean, the Wii U was at first, just like the Switch probably will, but the, I think they really want to show how strong the lineup is right away, just to show that you know all the games you love on PS4 and Xbox One, well guess what, you can play those on the go. Yeah, maybe the experience isn't like 4K HD, but you know what, the fact that you can play it on car trips, on trains, it sells itself, it sells itself, guys. <laughs> fact with the freaking the logo on the back of the Switch, that's 
freaking it's genius it's free advertising just see somebody there and there's a massive freaking switch logo on the back they're gonna be like dude I need to get that that's what's a Nintendo switch all right <laughs> all right I'm getting distracted anyways I feel like they're gonna show off um, I could definitely see at launch our Skyrim remastered or soon after launch um, I definitely could see some sort of eSport whether it be the NBA game in the trailer or something else along the lines of that um, I don't know maybe I mean maybe we could see some like Final Fantasy stuff like potentially maybe 15 come I don't think it would be coming just yet I feel like 15 might be a little bit ways now <laughs> that's another game I could definitely see coming to the switch um, that could be shown off in this segment uh, Just Dance of course we already know that's coming at launch maybe we'll see some stuff about the Dragon Quest because we've already seen a ton of stuff confirmed for what is it 11 and then the 8 remake I think for uh, I can't remember exactly something along the lines of that and I'm sure there's gonna be some other stuff too that we didn't see something from those other developers we saw on that panel backing the switch you know I could definitely see them previewing their games probably not being at launch because we wouldn't have maybe heard of it from a rumor or that developer themselves saying that hey we hope to have this game on the Switch. Or maybe they're saving it. It's going to be a nice surprise. I don't know. I also feel like they're going to have a dedicated segment of this presentation to indie developers. Nintendo really backed those developers on the Wii U and 3DS for that matter. Like their Nindie events. I mean, last October, they had like a whole Nindie month or something like that. So I could really see them continuing. I could see them continuing to follow that trend of really supporting these developers and bringing them alongside to the Switch. I could see games like Half Genie Hero. Um, may, maybe ukulele, I don't really see that likely just because they just barely canceled the Wii U version and decided to try. Just, they say they try to make a Switch version. Nothing's been confirmed just yet. It's going to happen, but I don't think it'll be at this presentation. There'll be other stuff too. I'm drawing a blank on some other big indie. Maybe Shovel Knight, we'll see something about Spectre of Torment on the freaking Switch. I would so get that. Anyways, I've talked a lot about software. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump over the hardware real fast. Talk about what I really expect to see from the Switch. Like I touched on before, they're definitely gonna say the release date. I think they're going to touch on battery life and honestly I personally could see it within the three hour range and a lot of people are like that sounds atrocious but you gotta remember the freaking 3DS the original one it was around three hours I think or something like that and regardless I think they're going to talk about the charging cable there was the rumor that it was like USB-C something like it was a really far really fast charge rate like plug it in and it's full and charge in an hour or an hour and a half and like if that's the case and the battery life is lower, you know, I really feel like they're going to advertise that to make up for the fact that the battery life might not be as phenomenal as people are expecting. As far as specs, I don't expect them to be totally talk all tech and lay out all the numbers in the presentation anyways. I could definitely see it in a press release later on, but as far as in the thing, I think they're going to talk about how on the TV it's going to be 1080p shooting for 60 frames depending on the game of course and then on the go it's going to be 720p which was fine it's totally fine because that's all you really need for a screen that big all the doomsday like a few weeks ago about how the switch is going to be so underpowered nintendo's doomed again you guys are freaking crazy they don't need a super powerful a console yes it's important to make sure that the games that are going on ps4 and xbox one can still come to the switch but again it's not like they need to make a carbon copy of PS4 just with a Nintendo logo on it. They've tried that method before and it really hasn't resulted in them any su more success. Also, so I think we're going to see a lot of explanation how the Joy-Cons work, how they get separate, like, the really cool functionality of how they separate and you can play multiplayer together. I was so excited for that and we can probably see that in Mario Kart, Super Mario 3D, whatever, um, maybe even Splatoon, that'd be so cool. I get So I bet you we'll see um, if there is some sort of AR pointer. We can see that pointing to the screen or however that's going to do, whether it has Amiibo support, which it definitely does, even though, considering Nintendo hasn't even touched Amiibo hardly in the past, like, year, you know, whatever. And again, as far, speaking of Amiibo real quick, I don't, again, I don't think they're going to show off Smash Switch, but once they do, I really feel like the three Amiibo that are on, have, still haven't released are going to launch alongside that game being Korn and uh, Cloud and Bayonetta. I don't see them being in this trailer. I don't really see them announcing any new Amiibo or anything like that. I really feel like this is going to be really focused on just the console itself and the games to launch and come soon within the launch. I really feel like it's in their best interest. They obviously want to show the consumers that we have so much planned in the year to come. We monthly releases almost what it seems like. But at the same time, I don't want them to show off too much. Then consumers be confused like, wait, why can't I play this 3D Mario or Pikmin? I thought this was coming to the Switch when in reality it's not coming out until the end of the year or something like that. If those are even shown off, it might be in a sizzle reel where we just see it real quick, kind of like the trailer was initially. But I think that all the in-depth stuff is going to be specifically to the games coming out right at launch or within a few months afterwards. 
Whether or not the, the Switch itself has a touch screen, I definitely could see that being a thing. I personally feel like navigating menus on the gamepad is so great, and if the Switch does something similar, that would be pretty good as well. Um, whether that happens, I can honestly see it not happening entirely, just for the fact, I mean, look at the, uh, not the biggest, greatest example ever, but if you look at just, um, the, what are they fucking called? PSP. See, I mean, like, they have a pretty similar looking, um, setup where it's a screen in the middle and just the side bumpers where the controllers are. Not like the clamshell design of, like, the 3DS and stuff, but, and, anyways, the PSP works pretty well, I mean, with menu navigation and without the touchscreen. However, I mean, when it comes to games, like, uh, port of Mario Maker, that relies so heavily on a touchscreen. How is that going to work? Especially if you want to connect that to a TV. It gets to a really sticky situation. So whether it's going to be touchscreen or not, I don't know. I'm Personally, if it's not a touchscreen, not the worst thing in the world. But again, it, it's a weird thing that could be a thing. But it's like, I don't know. Maybe they'll release just a freaking touchscreen controller at a later date that you can just use as a touchscreen for. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Speaking of controllers, um, I feel like we're going to get a whole lay down on Joy-Cons. How they might be interchanged for maybe future titles, such as maybe custom Joy-Cons for specific games, like a GameCube controller outfit. Um, I don't see like that specifically, that's kind of pie in the sky. But I could see it definitely maybe like skins on just the controllers themselves, so you can just slide on different skinned controllers. I feel like at launch though, I don't, the rumor said they're not going to have a lot of colors, I really think they should. And it might be just like how the new, or the 3DS did where it's, what was it, it was black, teal, and like what, red? I think it was red. I don't even, I, I can remember, I, I don't know. Regardless, I could see it coming in like three different colors. Maybe. I really hope, okay, if they open up pre-orders that day too, like I so hope it's not going to be too crazy and I don't get one. Because I'm going to be too busy covering it all, you know, doing videos and stuff. And I don't, I don't have time to go up to the dumb store and get a pre-order. I'm going to be the saddest man on earth, straight up. Also, another thing I'd like to say, I feel like we're actually going to see Kimishima on screen this time. Maybe. I, I know Reggie's going to be there. Of course, Miyamoto is probably going to show up. Uh, Anuma for the um, Zelda portions. And uh, Bill Trinan probably going to show up at one point as well, like he always does. You know, basically the normal cast and crew of our Nintendo managers. But I honestly could see uh, at near the end or maybe in the beginning just to introduce everything. Kimishima just saying, welcome to a new future of Nintendo with the Nintendo Switch. We have a great lineup of stuff, games for the Switch theme parks, movies, TV shows, whatever. It's going to be a great year for Nintendo or something. I could see something like that. If it doesn't happen, I don't know. I don't have high hopes in something like that happening. But I actually would really like to see him on camera for once, rather than being, you know, the two ones we typically do see. Just for the fact that, isn't this getting streamed from Japan and then getting English subtitles or something like that? So it could be Kimishima the whole time. I don't know. I have no idea. We'll see. Boy, how long have I been talking? It's been a long time, hey, but I'm not done yet. <laughs> so I went over the console itself. I think price point, it's going to be, like the rumor's been saying, 250 That sounds so perfect. Honestly, I can still see it being 300 and maybe 350 with a pack-in game. I know a lot of people are saying if it's over 300 no deal. I'm not buying it. But honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I personally feel like $100 or $50 more. Is, well, I mean, I guess I'm a really biased Nintendo fan, and of course they want to appeal for the general market. And if it is as cheap as $250, you really have no excuse not to pick it up. It's so true in that aspect. But if it is $300, yeah, it makes the purchase for them a little bit more harder. For me personally, I'd buy it at $400. I don't want to, but I'm ready and I'm prepared to do it if, if that's that's what they're asking me to do. I, I, I'm so excited. You already know that. Personally, I feel like they could get away with higher than $250. I mean, after tax, it'll be more than that anyway. So maybe 250 is the right price point because it'll be right under 300. Plus, you'll probably want to buy an extra controller on the side or whatever. So I can see that definitely working out for the price point. I think that makes a lot of sense. And they say they won't be selling at a loss. And they must have got some wicked good deal with Nidiva or whatever chip that was inside the Switch to be able to pull off a price point like this. I guess to jump back to games, I guess I can kind of talk about what I expect the games to be like, what the ones we see. Breath of the Wild, I think we're going to, I also don't know if it's going to get a lot of feature, just because we've seen so much of it already. I really feel like they're going to want to maybe focus on some of the new stuff. Um, it can, it'll definitely still have a pretty extended segment, perhaps talking about the differences between Wii U and Switch, or maybe just some Switch exclusive features. I don't really actually see that happening. I don't know. Maybe they're just talking about something we've never seen before. Maybe explain more about the recent like, trailer we saw at the Game Awards. Maybe talk about more characters. Maybe show off Zelda. I mean, that'd be enough to hype up everybody. Personally, in my mind, whenever I've thought about the uh, Raving Rabbids RPG, I really always think about Super Mario RPG, like where it's just like four guys in a row doing turn based. I think they see something like that. A really silly uh, freaking toilet plunger is going everywhere. 
you know, something funny like that. I could see that how they're gonna present that a funny kids game, minions, you know, whatever. Oh yeah, then there's the, yeah, the Guardian of the Galaxy Telltale. I mean, that was rumored. I don't know if we'll see that. Maybe we'll see that. Um, Splatoon. I feel like they're gonna the Splatoon and Mario Kart ports or whatever you want to call them are definitely. I feel like they're gonna be at the presentation, and I feel like they're gonna to explain to the fact why they're different from the Wii U one, why they're either not sequels or are sequels in Splatoon's case. And just, I don't know, give us the whole lowdown of these games, because I really feel like these two are either launch or soon to be after launch. The, the third parties, of course, will show off their games, and what else can I say? It is the dawn of something great, guys. Like, straight up. Maybe I'm just a Nintendo fanboy. Maybe I just always have a positive outlook on a lot of stuff. But honestly, I, I feel like we're on the iceberg, or like, tip of the iceberg. Of, of something sh like sheer gra like basically I can I feel like we're about I don't I don't know if it's gonna I can't even spit out what I'm trying to say I don't expect it's a Trump Wii Wii sale original Wii sales but I can see this thing catching on to nearly near high success and that's just not me saying I want Nintendo to be successful because of course I do of course I want them to be successful but from what they've shown and what I've heard from people I've talked to like straight up just meeting people the freaking I don't know at the coffee shop wherever I've talked to them about games and I mentioned the switch and they actually know what I'm talking about rather when I talk about the Wii U they're like what like that I a Wii I got that like six years ago you know and and not only that they're interested they're really intrigued for what Nintendo's offering with this the switch and I really don't feel like they're gonna disappoint I think the biggest thing is how much these the games that like let's say the multi console games how much of a downgrade is going to be on the switch in comparison to the other ones and how much the battery life is going to be and if the charging cable or whatever speed charge i have is enough to make up for a lower battery life because personally i really feel like the battery life is going to be low it's just going to be low and i think there's ways around it. it's not that big especially the fact if the charger is freaking usb powered you can plug it into any freaking charger out there Everyone has some sort of USB connector for AC units. There are car adapters. There are freaking charging towers and like malls and stuff. You can plug your Switch in there and play. And guys, this is going to be so much fun. Like, oh, another thing. Like, okay, this is just Switch itself. But like a lot of online games, like online shooters, whatever. The fact that being able to play those local modes. Like, I'm a huge Borderlands fan. I don't think I've ever told you guys that. And let's say Borderlands comes to the Switch. The idea of being able to play local multiplayer with the Switch on everyone on their own switches like a handheld game oh my gosh i'm so excited for something like that freaking monster hunter on the switch in freaking hd glory <coughs> don't get me wrong monster hunter games are look amazing but honestly their overall style hasn't changed much since the psv days which isn't a bad thing but i what i can't even imagine what these worlds would look like in full 1080 on a tv or on a freaking beautiful nintendo switch playing with your friends this is gonna ah oh. At, again, I I love local multiplayer, and I really feel like the focus of this console looks to be it, especially with the freaking detachable controllers, and you can play together on the screen. Yeah, it's small, but whatever. Regardless, I've always that's why I've always been turned off by Xbox One and PS4 because all their games are totally online multiplayer focused, and I I don't like online multiplayer. It is not as fun for me. Even if I'm playing with a friend and freaking Skyping and we're talking the whole time, it is not the same experience. I grew up playing Nintendo games. Nintendo's always focused on local multiplayer. And for the fact that the split screen gaming with the detached controllers, I really hope that that is going to be a focus of this game. Or of this console. It's gonna, This is going to be a new Nintendo, guys. This is going to be something really awesome. Really awesome. Anyways, I've been talking a lot. I don't know how long this has been. I could still talk for like another hour if my voice like wasn't about to die. So I've touched on what I think the hardware is gonna be. I think yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more underpowered than people probably will expect. Battery life's probably not gonna be that good, but I really hope they make up for it for how it's going to be charged. The adaptabil adaptability? Ad adaptability? The fact that it can plug into USB stuff and charge, hopefully. Um, how the dock system works, you know, all that stuff, I can see that. And then of course, as far as software, I really feel like they're going to touch on just games coming out in launch window in the first few months afterwards. They'll maybe briefly touch on stuff coming up in the future, but I really feel like the focus is going to be on what's coming now, what's coming in the next few months. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments, what, do you, what are your predictions for the Nintendo Switch presentation this Thursday? Let me know what you think about what I've been talking about. What are your like wild predictions? Like Virtual console, I forgot to mention. I could see the GameCube stuff definitely happening, and if not GameCube, 
I'm at least talking about how the upgrade program like the Wii U was. Something similar that they would have to pay like a buck or whatever. Which I guess, uh, I hate to do it. I'm sick of it. But it seems fair, I guess, because first it went from the ability to play it on a tablet. Now you're going to get the ability to now play it wherever you want on a, the Switch. Other games and stuff like like maybe you have some ideas from some other ga or games or series that could represent an F-Zero game which is again is not likely but I mean Animal Crossing which I 100% believe is coming to the Switch probably within the first year or two probably alongside the mobile app um but I don't see it being at the presentation this one anyways I could see it being maybe at E3 then coming out at the end of the summer I don't know we'll, we'll see we'll see I'm really excited I, I, but I need some rest it's gonna be a <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun guys I'm so excited for the future Nintendo the future of this channel and what's gonna happen next. It's gonna be so much fun guys So again, I want to thank you so much for watching Thank you for all the support again. Sorry for being a little bit more distant over Christmas I mean hey if you want to follow me on Twitter I post some updates there I was talking about how I was sick and uh, you can follow me there and chat with me more so you can get more updates know why I'm Disappearing all the time not all the time, but when I disappear if and when and uh, yeah, I think that's it So again, thank you so so much for watching and Wait, oh, I haven't even finished like the rest of my outro. Give this video a huge, awesome like, and if you haven't already, subscribe for tons on Nintendo Switch. Like, tons on the Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna be covering, I, I'm gonna do a first impressions the day the presentation comes out. I'm gonna try to record a reaction. It depends how long the presentation is. I might do like a compilation reel of my reaction. We'll see what happens. I think I'm gonna work on analysis again. You guys really liked when I did the Zelda one, so maybe I'll do another top five things you missed or whatever and specific games they feature or whatever um i i believe i'm gonna have um a friend on for a podcast discussion maybe friday after they do the treehouse footage guys this is gonna be this is uh, to think in only a few months we'll be actually playing the nintendo switch it blows my mind blows my mind anyways i have to go my throat i'm done <laughs> again thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one very soon. See ya.